Okay, before I get started, I have to tell you that I am in my car. We uh, were traveling this weekend and I didn't get home in time to do this at home. So, I'm going to be in my car doing this. Um, Alright, so here I go. First of all, before I begin telling you my story, I have to tell you a few things. I have a friend with me. But the last thing I need you to do is call him a bird, okay? I mean, disaster. If you call him bird, it's a disaster. Even though he is a bird, he believes he is so much more than that because he's a pigeon. So if you're going to talk to him, pigeon, not bird. Okay, do you understand it? Not bird. All right. So, I first met pigeon one night. His owner was staying over in our house and he brought Pigeon with him and he asked me if I could watch Pigeon while he went and brushed his teeth that evening. Um, it was it was getting late, it was night time. Oh, it was getting late, it was night time and Pigeon needed to go to bed and everybody else did too. And um, so his owner was gonna take a, a, a shower real quick and he was gonna brush his teeth and he asked me if I could watch Pigeon while he did that. Well, I mean, I have a three-year-old and a 19-month-old, so I can do that. But he did have one request. Pigeon needed to go to bed. Like I said, it was getting late. Everybody was going to bed, so Pigeon needed to go to bed. I thought, I do this every night with my kids. I can handle putting Pigeon to bed, surely. I was in for, I was in for it. I will tell you that. I will. I, you'll understand when I start, whenever I introduce him to you, but I'll just let you know it was not as easy as I thought. So, here is Pigeon, not Bird. This is Pigeon. Now, Pigeon is very persuasive. And what does persuasive mean? It means that he will try to talk you into doing anything he wants to do. I'm sure you all know someone like that. If they want to swing on the swing set and not slide, then everybody has to swing on the swing set. If they want to do the merry-go-round, then everybody needs to do the merry-go-round. And there's no saying no. Well, that's like Pigeon. Pigeon is just like that. So... I told Pigeon as soon as his owner left that it was time to go night-night and that, you know, he needed to get ready. The first thing he did was look right at me and say, I'm not ready to go to bed. He said he wasn't tired and that he just needed to stay up five more minutes because he wanted to have a hot dog party. Well, I like hot dogs. So I almost said yes because I was kind of hungry. So I almost said yes, but then I remembered his owner asked me to put him to bed. Well, that didn't work so easily. <laughs> I told him, I said, Pigeon, we're not having a hot dog party tonight. Maybe we could do that tomorrow for lunch. And you need to go to bed. And then he started. I'm not tired. There's a TV show tonight. It's about birds. I looked at him and said, birds? You want to watch a show about birds? I thought that you were a pigeon. You couldn't be around birds or learn about birds. But he thought that this show would be a very educational because he wanted to stay up late. I told him no again, that he had to go to bed, and he threw a fit. Yeah, you threw a fit. He threw a fit. I've never seen a fit quite like this before. He screamed, and he yelled, and he screamed, I'm not sleepy, you're not my best friend anymore. But I still said no. I said, you have to go to bed. It doesn't matter. You have to go to bed. And then that's when he did it. He yawned. I caught him yawning. And I said, ha! I saw it. I know you just yawned. I saw you yawn. Of course, he said he wasn't yawning. He was stretching. But I know he yawned. I know a yawn when I see one and he yawned. Well, he kept on and on how he needed to stay up just five more minutes and he needed a glass of water and he needed a bedtime story and it went on and on and on. And then he yawned again. And I could tell in his eyes that he was getting very, very sleepy. And next thing you know, he was asleep. I had done it. I don't know how. I don't ever want to do it again. But I had put Pigeon to sleep. His owner came back and he said, thank you so much. It's so tiring every night trying to get Pigeon to go to sleep. But I did it. Like I said, 
I don't ever want to do it again, but I did it.